Hi, I'm Matt Welch uh, for Reason TV. I'm here at Freedom Fest in Las Vegas, and I'm honored to be joined by Matt Kibbe, old friend of Reason, CEO of FreedomWorks. Matt, thanks for joining us. Hey, great to be here. 2013 uh, has been kind of libertarian Christmas since about uh, February when Rand Paul first did this filibuster, and we've seen a series of scandals with the IRS, NSA. Your group deals a lot with the Tea Party. You kind of have an, an ear to the ground more than most people. Has like NSA and anti-security state thing, has that started to animate a Tea Party that started out more as a, as a reaction to big government spending in Obamacare? Yeah, I really think it sort of closed the circle with the, uh, you know, what I call uh, IRS voter suppression of the Tea Party and the way they hassled anybody trying to get 501c4 status. The implementation of Obamacare and the database hub where they're, they're pulling in all of our personal health care data, our financial data, and all of this national security data. The, the seal on that is this NSA stuff. And I did a press conference with Rand Paul a couple weeks ago where Louis Gomart and the ACLU standing next to each other. Very uncomfortable moment, but I think that's this new position we're in. It's not really about Republican versus Democrat anymore. And I think, I think our issues, the libertarian values, are now, this is our moment. This is our chance to actually redefine the conversation. Is that sort of bipartisan civil liberties coalition, is it on the grow? Is it sizable yet? Uh, is there anything to, to be optimistic about with that? You know, it's kind of surprising how few Democrats, and I would say the same thing about Republicans, it's a minority in both caucuses inside the system. But I think it's really about the, the insiders being nervous that, that we're actually going to find them out. We're going to find out all the things that, that they've been doing to violate our basic rights. And it's got to be the outsiders beating the insiders. And that's, of course, that is the, the Tea Party mantra that we have to take back our government. We have to take back the system from the insiders. I think it's going to trend that way because we're going to use the same tactics, the same tools, same data, same social media that they're using to snoop on us to, to open up the system so everybody knows what's going on. Where are the battlegrounds right now? What are the next couple of fights on your immediate horizon where this kind of establishment versus the insurgent, uh, where's that coming up next? Well, I think it's, it's, it's uh, the IRS hearings are going to continue, the investigations are going to continue, and there's too many victims to bury that, and that's going to continue to dog the Democrats. This whole question of the NSA, it's growing. They want to talk about Edward Snowden, but the, the civil liberties issues there are, are, are much bigger. They're quite bipartisan. It's going to go straight through the election. And the implementation of Obamacare. You've already seen Obama arbitrarily say, you know what, I'm not going to enforce my own law. Um, we're going to have a conversation about that. But there's all of these deadlines. They're little time bombs where people are going to discover that the, the promises made during the health care debate were all lies. We're going to discover who's paying what, who's not going to get what they were promised, and, and who gets hurt. Uh, 2010 was sort of the Tea Party election. Um, we now have a thing called the Liberty Movement, which kind of didn't exist in Capitol Hill, certainly, before. Uh, what do you foresee the 2014 elections? I think the, the particularly when you talk to young people, I, the Tea Party is evolving, and, and at some point it probably doesn't even maintain that brand anymore because it's broader. I like to call it the Liberty Movement. I, maybe that's a clumsy term, but we got to come up with something. But there's this beautiful mashup of Tea Partiers, Ron Paul, millennials, and, and even young conservatives who are far more libertarian than, than their elders when it comes to, to issues like civil liberties. Um, that's the movement now. And our champions in the Senate and the House, Justin Amash, David Schweikert in the House, Mike Lee, Rand Paul, and I would add Ted Cruz to that. He's not quite as libertarian. Um, they're taking things over. We have a seat at the table on the inside. That's energizing people on the outside. 2014 could be that moment that this coalition emerges in force. It's very great. Thanks for the update, Matt Kibbe. For Reason TV, I am Matt Welch.